Hi guys, good afternoon, and you were wondering why I turned on the computer right now, and at the same time, doing a timer check on the on my cell phone. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing this one is because previously I heard someone that the best single thing that you can do for your laptop or desktop for an upgrade is upgrading to SSD. So it's the best single thing that you can do. And let's try to test if it's really true. Because right now, we're using a 1TB WD Blue on this desktop and we purchased a WD Green SSD, 240GB SSD. And we're going to test if this one will boot faster or load faster in terms of powering on the computer. So right now, it's still not yet complete. For me, uh, I can say it is complete booting up when we already see the uh, Steam application login screen. So, any moment now, so there it is. So right now, what we have is a 65 seconds boot time from powering on the computer, uh, which I can say exactly that this is the basic application that boots uh, open on power on. So we have 65 seconds for that one, and let's see if this one will really do some magic on performance not really performance, I believe it should only help us boot more, uh, but boot application more faster and quicker and also the startup as well. So right now, what we're going to do is clone the hard disk of this desktop to this one and we're going to use a Macrium Reflect, an application, it's a freeware uh, that you can be downloaded over the internet. So we're going to clone and boot the same application or uh, same OS application and configuration that we have on this one and try to uh, time also if it will be faster than the traditional HDD. Okay, see you guys. Okay, aside from the boot up, we're also trying to time the loading of applications such as Dota 2. Let's try to check if it will, how long does it take to boot up or to load. So, one, two, three. Okay, so we have 58 seconds to load the application of Dota 2. Okay, and we're also doing a benchmark for the hard disk first. Then, let's try to start this one. Basically, the benchmark for this one is try to, trying to find out on how fast does it read and write on this sequential 4K, 4K and everything. On the uh, the bigger the number, the better they perform. For example, uh, the write right now is for sequential, it's 153, and the read it's still going up 162 or something. This will be for oh, okay, we have 164 for the read and 153 for the write for the sequential. For the 4K, it varies, so I believe it's less than 2 Mbps, and for the read, I believe it's lower as well. So I'll just cut this out and see it later. Uh, it will take at around 8 minutes if not mistaken. So it's still loading, 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 loading. 8 minutes. So actually the timer or the countdown is fluctuating 824, 821, then 818, 823 again. It's really fluctuating. So I'll just, let's just wait for the result for this one okay guys for the sake of testing if it has any effect on application uh, 
during the game let's try to check if there are there is an increase in fps so we're going to whistle back again and then skip oh it load <laughs> it loads quickly here okay and let's see our uh video so we're on the basic settings and yeah it does not have any effect on the application itself it just boot fast and everything load the application or the uh dota 2 application or other applications but the performance as you can see it's still 30 fps 29 30 fps and no increase in frame per second for the game itself so yeah hey guys and there you have it this is the actual result of the comparison on hard disk live and solid state right as what you can see uh, the disk benchmark it's 80 minutes down to 5 minutes when using SSD but uh, the other applications such as comp uh, powering on the computer 65 to 65 seconds to 35, 39 seconds around 26 26 seconds that's that's still a lot every time you will boot your computer it's it will help a lot in the future and the same as well as for Dota 2 from uh, 26 to 58 it's more than double 26 uh, 52 yeah it's more than double the speed of loading the application itself but uh it's still a computer upgrade but not on the actual performance when you're trying to do like uh the gaming itself as you can see earlier i have tried to run dot as well using the ssd and the same fps uh is what i'm getting from the previous one from the hdd 30 up to 30 fps for the basic setting so for the game itself it doesn't affect the gaming you can you can still play high resolution on data too if you're just using that one uh just to give you an idea the computer that i'm using it's not using any graphics card it is only using an intel pentium for g4400 which is 2015 model of the Pentium G and still quite good to play on as I have reviewed it earlier and it's up to you if you can call it up an, uh, an upgrade or not but for me it's an upgrade for loading the application and everything but it really depends on you if you should upgrade your HDD to SSD just up safety reminder is that Upgrading to each SSD is much more costly. For uh, the 240 gig that I purchased, it's it already cost me 2,000 pesos for the WD green. But for the one terabyte blue uh, hard disk drive, it's somewhere around 3,000. It's already one terabyte, guys. Yes. There's a lot in difference for pricing, but the performance of loading the application faster it is still the best to use SSD. So some people are, are using SSD for application and booting up, but for the repository or the files, they're keeping it on the HDD. Uh, there is also for an M.2 SSD for laptop, if you don't want to lose your hard disk drive for the bigger size where you can store files and data, you can still retain it for the hard disk drive. But for the SSD, if there's an M.2 slot, you can use that one to load the uh, operating system and the other application to make it faster. So, and lastly, the lifespan of SSD is much shorter than the HDD. For me, uh, what I have tested my for my previous lap, uh, desktop, my SSD died on me for uh, four years. I believe it's four years. Well, the HDD is still running. I have replaced the SSD and the HDD is still functioning well and I have no issues. So because the read and write uh, threshold of the SSD, it has a threshold. So uh, it has a certain amount of times that you can read and write on that specific memory cell on the SSD. So it's the light is shorter than the HDD. But if you want to have a better experience on loading the application and faster boot up or application loading, then I would really suggest to go for SSD. 
So I hope you learn something from upgrading the S SDA, uh, the HDD to SSD. And mm, thanks for watching. And if you have questions, just try to comment below, and I'll try to answer as much as I can. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and tell your friends about it so they can watch the video as well. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day. Hey now, ang hirap mag English. Pero yun guys, kita nyo pa lang sa result. Okay na tayo dyan. Tapos yung sa English natin. Kita-kita nyo naman, as in yung performance ng pag-load nyo ng application, mas bibilis, mas magan, mas mabilis yung boot up. Yung instead na nag-aantay ka na 30 seconds dito, 30 seconds ulit dyan, mas shorter yung time na pag-aantay mo. Which isa tingin ko malang tulong. Time is cool. Mahal. Mahal ang ano, oras. So, makakatulong pa rin siya. Pero nakita nyo naman sa game, in terms of Dota 2, yung FPS kasi yung tinitignan usually for gaming and for watching videos. Kapag mas mataas yung FPS mo, mas okay siya. So, yung sa Dota 2, kung nakita nyo nung previous review ko, uh, yung kapag pinasa ko resolution, yung FPS niya bumaba ng 10 or 12, which is hindi siya playable. Ang playable usually for games is at least 24, but I would prefer 30 and up. Kasi 24 medyo, kahit pa pa nakikita mo pa na ano eh, Hindi siya smooth. Unlike for 30 and up sa akin, medyo okay na siya. So, yun. Guys, thank you for watching and have a great day. Subscribe and share the video. Thank you. Bye.